Jason Jeff, I'm with uh, really Pope Peter at home here. Um, I, I'm not the best on my phone, especially with typing. It kind of gets me a little frustrated, so it's much easier for me just to do this from home, um, sitting here with a keyboard. Um, so what you're looking at here is it's like I said, it's called Lycano Square. You're going to start. Um, you're going to have to get a, a you know username, password, log in. Um, you can log in. You, know, you can have multiple accounts. Uh, if you've got more than one Instagram account, you can you know have both of those in. You just have to switch. You know, sign out from one to to the other one, and then sign back in again. Um, one thing that's cool is is under your feed. So this is all under my feed right now. So all you have to do if you want to. Um, like these is all you do is you just have to click and that just liked her post here and if you want to comment same deal she's doing the girl crawls there um, so and then you can do you know little emojis there um, and then you hit the comment button and it's going to pop up. You just saw it popped up right there. So I can go and check this too, for, you know, just to show you guys. And that's what it looks like. Um, so yeah, you can. If someone likes yours, you can click on it, and you can go back and kind of see, you know, what they're um, what they're posting, and and if it's someone that you want to engage and talk to. Um, so that part's really cool, and it's it's much easier, I think, just to kind of look through. You know, not just one picture at a time. You got a whole page of it, so you can click and comment really fast. Um, which is why I like it. Uh, my media is just going to be my page itself here. So I'm looking at my own. I can see how many comments I had on here and how many likes. And then I can go back and click on that and and comment back or you know see who's liking my stuff and who's commenting. Um, you can kind of see what pictures are, are, are doing better than others. Um, if I'm getting my you know motivational stuff is getting a lot of comments. Um, you know, generally, you know, depending on how many people you have following you, you're trying to shoot for like 3% or so. It's not too high for likes or comments, but it all depends on who your followers are too, if they're more um, specific to your niche and what you're posting. Um, you know, I've told you guys before, you want to do, you know, you want your followers to be more than your follow followings. Um, so these are people that are following me, these are people that I'm following. Um, and you know, you should have that number. You don't want this number super high and this one super low because you're not going to be getting the engagement. Um, my likes, so these are all different things that I've liked. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of go through and see what you've liked, um, you know, how many likes they've had. Um, you can kind of click on these and then, you know, comment from here if it's, you know, someone that you want to engage and, and try to start a conversation with. Um, but like I said, it's much easier and you can just keep going uh, by clicking more. It's going to be, you know, the rest of them. Um, so you can kind of do it that way. It's much easier, um, like I said, for me anyways, from the phone. Um, my followers, you can kind of go through here. And these are all people that are following me. <clears throat> um, same deal. You can go through here and just click on them quick and um, engage them and, and talk with them and kind of look through their feed. And, and it's easier to comment and, and like that too. Uh, my followings are, are just like I said. These are people that I'm following. Um, there's some apps out there that you can go and click on, you know, after you've followed them for a week or so and they haven't followed you back you, there's there's apps that you can get on your phone and go through and kind of unfollow them again um, if they're not going to be following you um, to get those numbers back right and I'm not going to get into that with this uh, tutorial here the other cool thing that's cool too is there is some paid stuff with I with Icono Square and I got a free I don't know, I can't remember how many days it's like a week I think and it's an analytics and they um, like I said, I'm not going to go into that too much. I, I'm not. I just did my first free week, and I didn't do it again after that. I probably will here in a little bit. Um, but it it tells you all your new followers. This is like a few weeks old now, February 27th. Um, it'll tell you new followers, your last followers, which is you know nothing to get worked up about. People are going to do you know if you're not going to follow them, they they can you know not follow you back. Um, but it gives you just some numbers here, so you can kind of see you know, what your percentage is and your, your spread rate, and it, it really goes into a lot of information. That, you know, if this is what you're going to use, that it, it's really useful to see if what you're doing is working or not. Um, <clears throat> so that's another option there, too. Um, another cool thing is you can search for user, users or hashtags up here. So if I'm going to do, I'll just, you know, an example of 
not to use overused hashtags when you're when you're posting something. Um, when you pay for it too, I think all these ads are gone. By the way, um, so if you're gonna if you're gonna post something, just put hashtag fitness. Um, just looking at that quick, it looks like 122 plus million posts using hashtag fitness. So if you do hashtag fitness, the, t the chance of you getting seen by someone is not very good. Um, that's why you want to get down here. Um, you know, even the, the word fitness in general isn't the best hashtag to use. But as you go down, it's going to be more, more and more specific. Uh, you know, fitness chicks is still 62,000 hits there, or hashtags on that. Um, so that's why, you, you know, up here, if you're, if you're thinking of a hashtag that you think might work for you. Um, this isn't necessarily for me, I'm just putting it in here. Um, but there you go, you can see this is 11,600 hashtags with the hashtag punk rockers. Um, and then these are going to be people over here with that in their name. Um, so if you happen to be a punk rocker and you want to get, you know, if you want to talk to this person here, um, which they have no, they have no posts. So there's no reason why you would follow someone that's got no pictures and they're on Instagram. It doesn't really make sense. Um, so anyways, you get the idea. This is a good way to, to research your hashtags to see, you know, if it's, if it's something that's out there. If you think this is a good hashtag and you type this in and there's none, um, there's, they're not going to get anybody to follow you with that hashtag because there's not, there's none out there. So you just kind of keep trying to see what hashtags are going to work. You don't want ones that are super high and you don't want ones that have like, you know, 20. Somewhere in between there. Um, <clears throat> and, and just kind of see what works. And then, you, you know, you can kind of see and make those hashtags your own. All right, guys, hopefully this helped. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, just send me a message and I will try to answer it the best I can. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.